what's good youtube dm gaming here guys didn't do a video yesterday because the day before we uploaded so late in the evening so just trying to get back on that schedule guys today i want to go over and discuss some of the scans uh that were released we did talk about them in a previous video but i want to actually go over some of the scans and talk a little bit more in detail about what they say so guys before we get into that the giveaway don't forget about the giveaway man because it's almost time for the november drawing it'll be at the end of the month also we'll do one for december and january as well guys i will be doing a release day live stream of the game yes because it drops on the 17th um so i'll be doing a live stream of that on the day that it it releases that night so i'll be, I'll be giving y'all more information about that once it comes along and kind of advertising and pushing that out as well uh but day one tune in for that so subscribe to the channel if you haven't already um and and check us out so today like i said i want to uh, um i'm looking at dragon ball hype guys he's he's a good guy on twitter um if you haven't followed him you need to be following him also kenzaru is another good guy you could follow on uh twitter I'm very active on Twitter as well, so follow us as well. But um, he's generally like one of the first to get the scans. This is the uh, that visual. This is that HD visual of the and people are saying this is the new cover. This has not been confirmed to be the new cover for the game. Me personally, I don't believe that this will be the cover. I believe this has the possibility to be the um, you know how in some games on the inside of the cover, if you open it up, open the case up and you could reverse the cover and it has a, a, a image that it has a picture. I believe that's what this could be. I don't see this being the cover of the game. Um, it, it is purely a visual image and it even says it here. It's, it's a key visual. That's what they call it. But it's not, they have no way said that they're changing the uh, cover of the game. I know people were outraged because the cover was so basic. I mean, come on, guys. Really, simplicity. Never judge a book by its cover. I mean, this, does this look cool? Yeah, but I like the cover of the game, you know, the way it is. And I don't think they're going to change it. I think, like I said, this could potentially be something that may be on the reverse side of the cover or something like that. So for people that are saying that this is the new cover of the game, it's not. It has not been confirmed in that way. No way, shape, form, or fashion. Now, if you if breaking this down, it's just showing you all the people that Goku has fought um, over his lifetime in Dragon Ball Z. Now, what's interesting is the ones that are the biggest. Vegeta, uh, Frieza, Kid Buu, Cell. Those are the ones who Goku fought himself that were major bosses. And those are, in my opinion, the major, <coughs> excuse me, boss fights. Now you have the smaller ones that are basically just showing all the villains. You have Raditz and the, and the Cybermen, which Goku and Piccolo fought Raditz. The Z Warriors fought against the Cybermen. I don't think Goku's ever fought against a Cybermen. And then, of course, you have Vegeta, who he fought. The Z Fighters fought Nappa. And then you have Kui and Apu, if I'm pronouncing his name right, Apu, which Vegeta fought against him. And then the Ginyu Force, where you have actually, you have Birder, uh, you have Jace and Captain Ginyu right here. And then Frieza in some of his other forms. They just showing three, four, four forms. And the Ginyu Force, which Goku did fought against the Ginyu Force, but he, you know, fought against uh, Frieza also. And then you have the doria and uh zarbon here which like i said goku didn't fight against them that was vegeta and them of course final form freezer which goku did fight against and then king cold is here and i know people are like well goku never fought king cold goku didn't fight a lot of these people he didn't fight the ginyu force well he didn't fight uh Kui. he fought the ginyu force he didn't fight the Cybermen. Cybermen are there. He didn't fight 17 and 18. They're there. He didn't fight Imperfect Cell, you know, or, you know. You get what I'm saying? There's people here that Goku didn't fight, but they're just showing you, I guess these are people that are going to be sort of main villains in a sense. 
But anyway, so you have King Cold, which we know that that Trunks was the one who fought King Cold. And then you have Yakon and Pui Pui, which Goku did fight Yakon. Vegeta fought Pui Pui. Evil Boo, which is really cool to see, which we know that um, Goku didn't fight against him either. You know, it's still cool that he's in the game. They haven't shown him. Then you have uh, Bobbity and Dabura. You have uh, Super Boo. And then you have, um, God, Lee, I forgot their name. Spopovich, is it? And I forgot the other guy's name. But that's the minions, the booze minions. Y'all can't see them there. Let me let me raise this up so y'all can, uh, so so y'all can see them here. All right. And then we have Kid Boo, of course, Majin Boo. We have uh, Super Boo with um, with Gotenks absorbed, and then we have Buhan, as people call them. Super Boo with Gohan absorbed. Imperfect Cell, Perfect Cell with the Cell Junior. That's the other cell right there. Then you also have uh, Android 17 and 18, Android 19 and 20, and it, it starts back over. Now, who you're not seeing is Android 16. Why? Because these, <laughs> excuse me, are just the villains, guys. These are the enemies that we will face in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Kurutu. So it's it's still cool. It's a key visual. It's a key visual for a reason. What well, my opinion, they call it a key visual because it's showing you some of the main enemies that you'll be facing. And the major bosses is Vegeta, of course, Vegeta, Frieza, Cell, and Boo. Raditz, in my opinion, isn't a major boss. He's a boss fight, but he's not major because you have it broken down by sagas too. I mean, this is the Saiyan saga here. This is the Frieza saga, which which co accumulates into uh, Frieza. And then you have the Cell saga. It starts here, Android and Cell saga, which finishes with Cell. And then you have the Boo saga, which finishes with Boo. And then you have those uh, fillers, if you will, basically, you know, that, that other people are going to be fighting and playing. But that's pretty cool to see that and break that down as well. Um, now I want to go to the other scans. Guys, if you're a fan, fan of Dokkan and Legends, they have some new stuff. I play Dokkan. I used to play Legends. Don't really care for it too much. Dragon Ball, uh, Super Dragon Ball Heroes. I've got a Nintendo Switch finally. And so I will be getting that game uh, sometime soon so that I can play that as well. So I'll be checking that out and uh, possibly be doing that on the channel. Guys, let me know. What other stuff y'all want to see on the channel? Because uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot will be coming out. I will be live streaming it, but and I will be covering it throughout its and throughout its lifespan. But I do want to also do you know another game, and I want to stick with Dragon Ball. I love Dragon Ball stuff. Of course, you know uh, Oob is coming to Xenoverse Two, uh, but I wanted to get to this scan, which I am going to use a different one. Let's look at this one. Yeah, this is. Uh, no, let's not use this one. Let's. I'm gonna go back up. I'm gonna use the other one. Uh, one of them just kind of look a little bit better than the other one, and that's this one right here. So, uh, the scans here are showing the the Dragon Balls. Goku's finding those Dragon Balls. Uh, you have one, two, what three images of him finding the Dragon Balls, and then you have him fighting Frieza right here. And then he's fighting somebody else. I can't really see who that is. We'll see when the HD images come out. You also have him fighting Cell. And then, of course, you see uh, Frieza here with that evil aura. So let's start at the top. Of course, you know, you can find the Dragon Balls with the Dragon Radar. And with the Dragon Radar, you can find the Dragon Balls. You know, but it's interesting because, you know, we speculated about the Dragon Balls for a long time. Now we finally know exactly what they do. Uh, the biggest speculation was, are they just going to be collected to see in-game uh, stuff like to advance the story or are there actually going to be in-game wishes that you can make with the dragon balls and it's confirmed it's in-game wishes and one of the wishes and i imagine throughout now to release we'll be able to possibly find out some of the other wishes as well <coughs> excuse me if there are other wishes um it, it could just be that one wish i imagine they would have some health stuff some stat boosts and stuff like that as well uh they're, they're not going to show us all the wishes i guarantee you that but anyway so when you get the seven Dragon Balls, one of the wishes that you can do is to wish to you can wish to fight a enemy that you fought in before. Now, what's interesting is, is in this image, Goku is fighting his first form Frieza, you know, but, you know, 
you see here you have that soul emblem of final form frieza so i'm assuming you could fight against multiple forms of frieza uh, or just multiple forms of any enemy that you have faced basically because you also see him fighting against cell or wishing cell back now people say what is the point in doing this well when you do this you can speculate it's speculated that you'll be able to fight with any of your characters which would be really really cool that would provide that whole what if scenario but also one thing that they said in this translation here basically is that whenever you wish say goku's fighting frieza again like you see in this image here well they're gonna have special dialogue for these types of fights so that is really cool so goku fights frieza but he wishes the dragon basically to fight him again and when you do that you're gonna get special dialogue for that particular situation which is really dope and it adds to the immersiveness of the game now what's speculated is will i be able to do this with say team gohan or majin vegeta or somebody like that that is yet to be determined i believe that you would be able to it would be really cool if you're able to and it would please a lot of people if you're able to also it would go along with the whole ordeal um and i really hope they go that direction as opposed to you can only fight him as that you know because if i'm not mistaken i don't recall goku fighting frieza in his first form uh you know he could have i, I don't know y'all i'm drawing blanks this morning because it's early so let me know in the comment section down below i know y'all gonna be like dm how do you not know if goku fought frieza in his final form guys i'm telling you my mind is blank right now and i've been watching dragon ball for years so anyway but it'll be the same thing with Cell and whoever else you choose to fight now when you defeat these enemies <coughs> you will get a soul emblem for them and i'm going to try to zoom in on this because um that soul emblem you're going to get that soul emblem that you can use and it's going to give you major stat boost. Now, remember a while back, we looked at that uh, that emblem and we couldn't tell. I'm going to try to zoom in. I can't wait till the HD images come out because remember last time we looked at that Z, we couldn't tell who was all in it. Uh, we was, I was thinking, remember I was telling you about the Z Warriors. But it turns out you can pretty much put anybody you want in that. Because you see here, there's Goku. That's a Cyberman. That's Nappa. That looks like Raditz. That's Vegeta. That's Cell. That's King Cole. That's Final Form Frieza. And that looks like Android. Um, that Okay, I got my mouse, my clicker here. So this is Goku, of course, in the middle. And this is Nappa. That's a Cyberman. Nappa. That looks like Raditz. That's Vegeta. That's a uh, final form cell. And then you have final form Frieza. You have King Cold. And then it looks like um, Android 20. And apparently, guys, no matter however you put this on here, you're going to get some kind of stat boost. And it was my speculation that you could put King, that you could put the Z Warriors there and get a boost. And you could because in the image we saw, that's exactly what they did. But apparently, you could put villains here as well. So you can get these. Um, and then you notice that Freezes is gold. Remember we looked at trunks and stuff. He had a silver one around his. Freezes is a three star and it's gold. So apparently these are going to give you the highest possible um, soul emblem in defeating bosses this way. So apparently that's more likely going to be how you unlock these special uh, soul emblems is by doing these types of missions and stuff. And that's going to give you a special power up bonus uh for your character and this is permanent by the way so that is super interesting and then also uh oh sorry i mean to click off of that guys um also here uh we're looking at the uh when you use your key search what this is talking about is you can find enemies with a super bad aura and i think this is so dope because remember goku nim in the anime can sense key and in the manga and they can tell if somebody is good or bad based off of their key so when you do a key search you're going to see these big, huge red or dark colored aura. You're going to know this is one of those special enemies. Now, in order for you to face like this is one of Frieza's forms. And in a way, guys, this is also a way for you to be able to fight these guys who you normally didn't get to fight in the anime with, say, maybe like Gohan or Piccolo or somebody like that. It's a free roam, <laughs> excuse me, type of thing. Now, 
what happens when you fight these guys is you get a huge boost to your uh, stats. That, 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 because these enemies, for example, fighting Frieza in the story mode, yeah, he's going to be tough. But if you fight him like this in the open world, whenever you encounter him, these characters are going to be souped up versions of the characters that you fought in story mode that you've defeated. And also, if you notice here, they're going to have special attacks that they didn't have when you fought them during the story. And I think that is super, super dope, y'all. They are steadily adding things to this game that is blowing us away. And it is all worth it. And I am all here for it. So once you defeat an enemy, you know, you'll be able to fight them in these types of forms. They are spread out throughout the map. You do have to use your aura your key search to be able to find them and stuff like that. I don't think they're just going to be a spot on the map or anything like that. But I do think that it is super dope that they put that in the game. Um, and this, all of this together is basically encompassing, um, encompassing the end game. So it's all a part of, um, it's all part of the end game for the game. And I think that is really cool that they're doing that because, you know, we speculated for a while what's going to be the end game. And this is pretty much uh, painting a picture of the end game for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I'm just trying to get that image back, uh, back small again or whatever. That, that's probably going to do be it right there. But um, this is basically painting the picture for the end game for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. And I'm excited for it. I can't wait to see more. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. That's all I have for right now. Appreciate y'all for tuning in if you made it to the end. Thanks. Till next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.